Hi everyone! So I thought I would do my monthly favorites because I feel like I haven't done one in a long time. I don't think I did one last month. So I have um, kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff. <clears throat> mainly, um, mainly beauty stuff, but a lot more skin stuff than I normally have. So I'll start off with that. Um, the first thing I have been really loving is the Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream and it looks I love the little like embossment or whatever you call it um and I've used I mean you can't really see but I've used quite a bit of it I've been using it for at least like a month and a half and it really does work it's really good so if you're looking for an eye cream I actually got this at my CCO so um it was a lot cheaper not a lot but it was quite a bit cheaper there so definitely look at your CCO for great stuff like that um I've also been loving where did it go you should see my little area here <laughs> it's a mess um is the clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment um it looks like that and I've used a lot of it and actually Lawrence he like never really gets breakouts but he had one and I made him or I put it on him I think when he was sleeping <laughs> And it was gone the next day. So, um, and it says 100%, 100% of people, that's like a guarantee, showed clear skin in just one day and won't over dry. And that's true. And I just started putting this on my face every night um, because over the past six or seven months, my I've been like there, a lot of hormones going on with all that my body has been through. And, you know, so um, I break out occasionally now. Um, and this has really helped a lot. So I recommend that. And I was actually standing in the grocery store and looking at all of them. And I was with Lawrence. And Lawrence is just like, you know, I don't know. Just pick whichever one looks the best. And this girl was so sweet. And she's like, I got that one. And it really worked for me. And she helped me. And that was nice. So um, what else? Skincare. Oh, this I really have been loving is the Urban Decay Lash Blush Lash System. Um, it looks like this. It has a little serum that I've used a lot of, and then it has, like, a little wand, like that. And I use it every single night. I don't, I don't think my lashes are, like, dramatically longer, but for some reason, this eye is, the eyelashes are shorter than on this eye. I don't know why. I think I sleep on this side, and it crushes them, or I don't know. Um, but I think it does help. I mean... I would repurchase it, but I think it's just because it's doing something that makes me feel like I'm getting better lashes. <laughs> I don't know. So, and the last kind of skincare-ish thing I have is the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse, which sounds kind of creepy, but it's a body lotion and, sorry, my lighting's really bright. It looks like that, and I've used, um, you know, quite a bit of it. It's pretty thick. Um, but when I went to buy this, the lady gave me samples of anti-aging cream, and I'm like, do I look old? Do I have wrinkles? I probably do. That's okay. Um, and I really like it. I bought this small bottle because I just, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to spend, um, you know, a big chunk of money on something I didn't know I would like. And I do like it, and I don't know if I would repurchase it, like a bigger size. But I'm glad I got this size. So, and it doesn't really have a smell. That's what I always wonder. It just smells kind of like lotion. It doesn't have, like, a smell, which I kind of like it when lotions have more of a smell, but all the lotions from, like, Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret, they kind of dry my skin out even more than, like, if I wasn't using lotion. So, that's, I don't know. It's a really good lotion, though. Like, it doesn't dry your skin out, but you definitely, it's thick and you have to let it sink in. So, I just put it on at night, generally. Um, and then I've also been loving, this is kind of like my nighttime routine, like that's not my entire nighttime routine, but, um, I love the Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm with Pomegranate Oil, it looks like that, and I like it because it is, it like kind of tinted, like that, um, and it does give your lips a tiny bit of a tint, which I like because I have absolutely no color to my lips, as you can see right now, like this is me with color, I'm really washed out because I'm sitting in front of a window, but if I wasn't sitting in front of a window, I would have really bad lighting. So it's a situation. My hair is also a situation today. This is, I just woke up and this is what it looked like. So this is what it's staying like. I felt the need to explain my hair <laughs> to all of you. Um, anyway, so moving on to other things. Um, I've been 
using a lot of my MAC mineralized skin finish in natural, um, I mean in light, and I've used like, you know, a lot of it. Um, this thing lasts forever. I recorded another video, but I couldn't get it to upload. It was just a situation. Um, that's my new word of the day, situation. Um, and I do like it. I'm waiting. I bought a Giorgio Armani powder, and I really want to finish this before I start using that one. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to wait that long. So, um, yeah. But I have been using it with my Sigma um, F45 little Kabuki brush. And I like it. Um, I'm really bad. I've never washed this brush. Is that really bad? That's really disgusting, probably. But... I just really hate washing brushes, and I hardly ever do it, so that's, that's, that's naughty, um, and speaking along the line of brushes, I ordered this brush over, like, I've had it for probably two years from Coastal Scents, and it's a really big, fluffy brush, I'm sorry, I have no idea what it's called or anything, it's really huge, as you can see, I love this for blending just my whole color, I love it for putting highlight here, and here, and here, I just love this brush. I love it a lot. So, um, I think it's called, like, Ucker's Tucker. Um, I think it's called, like, the horse hair. I don't know. I really don't know what it's called. It has a pink handle, and it's a really, really big, fluffy brush, but it's kind of flat. Like, mine is poofed out. It's probably normally, like, that flat, but mine's kind of, you know, because I never wash my brushes. So there's that, and my the eyeshadow I've mainly been using, I have been so just not, not like not into makeup, but just not really wearing a lot of makeup, um, and I'm not sure why, probably because I don't have a job yet, and for the first time in my life ever, I was actually told I was overqualified for one of the jobs I wanted, so I just, I, I don't, yeah. But I've been doing um, kind of what I have on today, like a winged eyeliner, just kind of natural eyeshadow, just kind of overall natural. And the one I've been loving is Charcoal Brown from MAC, which um, I haven't had to, ooh, my nails look horrible, which I haven't had for too long. Um, I think I bought it in April, and I love it. I've actually made quite a dent in it. Because I've used it every single day as a crease color. I like it because it's matte. Um, I've been really enjoying matte colors. So, which is kind of ironic. Because the next color I've been loving for inner corner highlight is um, Floof. And it's, this is my little travel quad. And it, Floof is, yeah. This one is Floof. And you're totally not going to get a, there you kind of see. It's really shimmery. But I like it for, um... Probably. Can you see that? No, I can't see it, so you probably can't either. Um, I've been really liking it for highlight and mainly inner corner highlight, and then I use vanilla, which my vanilla is a sad, sad story. Um, I've been using that as like a highlight, and also the mineralized skin finish works really well as a highlight too, and I discovered that through traveling. So that's just my little travel quad. And the last makeup makeup thing I have is a Maybelline um, Superstay 24 concealer, which looks like this. And of course, I'm in the color ivory um, because I'm very white. And I have a very love-hate relationship with this. Um, definitely make sure your skin is moisturized when you use it. And um, it dries really fast, so you want to work with it really, really, really quickly. Um, and, but I like the coverage. It has really good coverage. I don't always like, I don't know, there's something about it I don't like. I can't, I haven't figured it out yet. But it's not the worst concealer, and I can't find another one I like as much. So, that's why it's in my favorites. It's like a love-hate. Like, I love you, but you frustrate me. All at the same time. So, that's that. And then the last favorite I have, which I have seen so many people talk about, and I don't know why it took me so long to go buy it, but it's the Posh Top Coat. Um, because, you know, Seche V is going to make your child come out with, like, um, four legs and, like, five eyeballs. Or maybe you won't be able to have kids because of it. I don't know. It just has some crazy side effects. So I stopped using that. And if you don't want to have kids, then that's awesome. Then you can use it. Um... 
But I was using one that was called like Out the Door, and that was good too, but this one is amazing. I'm giving my nails a break because I've, because it's so amazing, I have been painting my nails a lot, and they're kind of a little dry or something, like they're, I don't know, maybe, they're like, mm, they're like peeling, oh, don't look at my cuticles, they're like peeling or something, and I don't like it, so I don't know what to do for that, so if you have any recommendations, I've been using like cuticle oil and stuff. Um, oh, I forgot a favorite. I'll put it in my next video because it's not a makeup favorite. So, um, oops, I knew I would do that. And another favorite I have that I can't really show you is we have a, we have baby birds that are nesting on our patio and they are the cutest things ever. There's three of them and we name them after the three stooges, um, Larry, Curly, and Mo. Lawrence named them. I was like, what are their names again? <laughs> Um, but they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be sad when they like leave the nest. I'm going to be like an empty nester. Um, but those are my favorites and I hope y'all had a really good May and I have a haul coming up because that's all I do is shop. Kind of. Um, but I have some really kind of cool drugstore stuff. I, I usually buy high-end things just because I just like, I don't know, it's what I like. I'd rather save my money for a few high-end things and buy a bunch of, um, drugstore stuff. However, I have found some kind of cool drugstore things. So, um, I have a haul of that coming up. And, yeah, that's about it. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.